If you can't hold your liquor, you shouldn't drink. Mm. How much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you. That's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers. Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan! You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the porch. Not taking any chances. Bastard deserved what he got. I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arius' little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, he was stronger. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Well, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. A few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. Someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. Well, 
matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command, not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be it. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. Your Patriarch's Krant? I wasn't aware the old man had one. You should have done your homework. Never let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you, I am a Krogan. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. <laughs> <laughs> 